Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Day Trips from Geneva Number 5 Aussie For sheer charm, not to mention its near-perfect setting beside a mountain-backed lake, it's hard to beat the French town of Aussie, about an hour's drive from Geneva. The Counts of Geneva made on sea their home and headquarters in the early 1200s, and you can learn more about the town's history at the museum inside the Chateau d'Ancy, a restored castle that dominates the Vieville, Old Town. But the best way to enjoy on sea is simply to stroll its narrow streets and soak up the scenery of medieval houses that line its canals. Surrounded by canals is the Palais de Lise, a 12th century fortress that was once a prison. Today, it vies with the graceful lovers bridge as Ancy's favorite photo op. Number 4 Chamonix in Montana Blanc The small mountain village of Chamonix, over the border in France, is a 90-minute drive through the spectacular Arve Valley, with the snow-capped French Alps rising ahead. Chamonix sits at the foot of Montana Blanc, Western Europe's tallest peak at 4,800 meters altitude. For even better alpine views, ride the cable car to the peak of Aiguille du Midi for a panorama that includes Montana Blanc and the French, Swiss, and Italian Alps. Its rocky summit has snow year-round and on a clear day, you can see the Matterhorn. Number 3 Montana Salve On the French border south of Geneva, Montana Salve is a limestone ridge that offers outstanding views of the lake and the Alps. Along with the views, you can enjoy hiking and rock climbing here, or simply take the 6-minute cable car from Des Irier, at the French border, to an elevation of 1,143 meters. A short distance beyond Des Irier is the summer resort of Mornex, on the southern slopes of the Petit Salve. From the resort of Munnadier, in a cleft between the Petit and Grand Sail, it is a half-hour climb to the summit of the Petit Sail. At 1.5 kilometers from the Munnadier, a road on the right leads to magnificent views of the Montana Blanc Chain, Lake Geneva, and the Jura, as well as to a path, also about 30 minutes climb, ascending to the Crête de Grange Tournier. At 1,308 meters, this is the highest point on the Grand Sail. Number 2 Chateau de Chillon the formidable walls of the 9th century Chateau de Chillon rise directly from the waters of Lake Geneva in one of Europe's most dramatic settings for a castle. Its literary fame as the basis for Byron's The Prisoner of Chillon arises from a true story, and you can still see the ring in the wall where François de Bonivard was held. The Counts and Dukes of Savoy gave the castle its present form in the 13th century, but you can still explore the original foundations and cavernous underground vaults with massive pillars carved out of bedrock. Follow the well-marked tour route to see the entire castle complex, which includes upwards of 20 buildings. Costume guides add to the experience of some rooms with stories that bring the castle to life. Number 1 Scenic Lake Tour Depart from any one of the four keys along the lakefront for a boat tour of Lake Geneva that reveals magnificent mountain views, lush green hillsides with picturesque stone villages, lakeside resorts lined with Belle Epic hotels, and the famous Chateau de Chillon rising out of the water. You can leave the boat at any of these to explore, rejoining a later cruise or returning by train for a different set of views of the Swiss Riviera. At Montrux, you can board the narrow gauge Rogers de Nirac railway that climbs to 360 degree alpine views. Eight of Lake Geneva Navigation Company's 20 boats are historic paddle wheelers, and on any you can choose a seat on the deck or in glass walled salons. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.